All right, so I want to talk to you about your morning routine because I have a feeling that your morning routine sucks. And that's because of the fact that you listen to all these videos on YouTube about the billionaire morning routines and they all tell you the same thing. Here's what they tell you. You're going to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning at the crack of dawn. You're going to be sleepy as heck, but it doesn't matter why because billionaires get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. At least that's what they say. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and sit down and you're going to meditate. You're going to meditate for, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Hopefully you don't fall asleep while you're meditating because you woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and write down in your gratitude journal. And you're going to write down all the things you're grateful for. One of the things you're not grateful for is getting good sleep. Because why? You got up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Then you're going to go ahead and maybe write in your journal more things about you and how you feel and everything else, right? Because you're overly sensitive with this morning routine. And then finally then you decide, you know what, let me go ahead and get some exercise. You're going to go ahead and do some yoga. You're going to do some stretching. Then you're going to go ahead and go to the kitchen and you're going to put together your whole concoction of uh, supplements and everything else. You're going to go ahead and then uh, have your smoothie, right? Because everybody needs a smoothie in the morning. And then eventually, after all said and done, then you're going to decide, hey, I'm going to go ahead and now finally get to work. But guess what? You might need a nap. Why? Because you're exhausted. You got up at 4 o'clock in the morning, you did all these things, and you haven't even done one damn thing for work. That is not a morning routine that I recommend. So here's the morning routine that I recommend. Number one is starts the day before. The day before, you're going to sit down and write down the three most important things you want to get done tomorrow. These are the things that are going to move the needle. These are not going to be like doing admin stuff or organizing your drawers or maybe responding back to all those people that DM you and private message you and send you a text message and they're wanting to hear back from you because they want to catch up and see how you're doing. It's none of that stuff. There are things that are going to move the needle in your business that if you get those things done, then you are going to do the most important thing that you need to do in order to become a billionaire. You know what that is? Make some money. So then now you're going to take those three things and now you're going to look at them again and figure out what is the most important thing. What is that most important thing that you need to get done tomorrow that if all hell breaks loose tomorrow, that if your cat uh, barfs all over the carpet, that if your dog has diarrhea, that, it, it, that if your car blows up in the middle of the driveway, all right, it catches on fire, you have to call the fire department, it doesn't matter because as long as you get this one thing done, the day is a success. Now you, that, that you have identified this one thing, now you're going to get up tomorrow at a reasonable hour. You're going to get some sleep, right? Because you can't be productive if you are half asleep. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get your coffee. You're going to get your morning coffee. Okay, look, I understand. You may not drink coffee. You're an alien. You're not from this planet. You've got to drink some coffee. You've got to get some juice into you. And you say, Chico, I don't need coffee. I think it's bad for you. Listen, drink some coffee. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your desk. You're going to sit down and you're going to get to work. You are going to get to work, you're going to work on that thing and then finally when you get that one thing done or when at least you, you have worked on that one thing for at least a couple hours, two or three hours, then finally now you can finally do that meditation. You can finally do a uh, write in your gratitude journal because now you have something to be grateful for because you got to work and you did whatever it is that you wanted to get done. And then you can also do your yoga, you can do your exercise, and you can do all that without feeling bad about yourself. Why? Because you got the most important thing done. And then after you do all your, your stuff and maybe have your smoothie, then at that point then you can go back to work and work on item number two and work on item number three. And if you do that every single day, I guarantee you you're going to make more money, you're going to feel better about yourself, and at the end of the day, you might have a chance of becoming a billionaire. I'm not a billionaire yet. But I got to tell you, I have a better chance of trying to get there if I'm following this morning routine that I just told you about versus that other hocus pocus that everybody recommends. That's my recommendation to you. Tell me what you think.